time. Figured I might as well knock two birds out with one stone. Um, consider this my review for Monsters. Uh, the one shot done by Oda. This is his, um, or this is the anime adaptation of it. Uh, it's only one episode, it's like 25 minutes, so it's the length of a, um, a regular show without an opening and a little bit of an ending. But regardless, um, I will say that this one shot there's nothing really special about the one shot itself like the story is pretty linear it has to do a like quick jumps in the plot in order to get where it needs to to tell whatever this quick little seemingly one time event um so it's a lot of very fast paced progression but when I take it in the context of which what time the story was written in and how older was and how old older was exactly because this is before one piece like this is before romance done and everything it was just a one shot done by older and essentially it was an introduction to his story and the chops his story chops and how we would soon get from get from him in one piece so in terms of the actual anime, there are actually like really, 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 really dope things to see in the anime, especially like the way Oda was right, the way you see Oda writes villains, um, the way you see him write sad events and sad bad stories, how he writes his protagonists, and how we see most of that within Luffy and Zoro. So I like the fact that these are the elements that he was working on from the beginning and we can see that in the story the actual story of one piece now as far as like the controversy of people saying that this has no connection to one one piece whatsoever it's just a one shot off brand story that has no connection and with the anime adaptation actually having a connection by showing off uh ryuma give give the sword to zoro and thriller bark um that kind of implies that there is a connection and honestly, I would, it's nothing to be mad about. Like, we already knew that Ryuma was a part of the canon story itself. So, whether or not these events that happen in the story, there, there are ways to make it make sense anyway. Because it's not like Ryuma has not seen a dragon one or two many times. He even says it in the story that he's there's nothing but glorified lizards with wings. So, apparently, he could have saw another dragon in Wano, cut that down. And that's the reason why he was known as the protector of one of the sword god or kami or the sword king as they put it in the, in the one shot there's a lot of ways to explain this so i'm not too worried about canon canonizing or not that's just even here or there but i will say this in my eyes just adds more to one piece's lore and honestly it just makes one of the reasons why I love One Piece as a whole because the fact that you can have all these small stories that can be concocted and not have anything to do with the main characters. They're just stories of their own and they can still enrich, enhance the lore for One Piece itself. I'm here for it. If then we get a background into how old it was and what his mindset was at when he was writing, when he was starting off writing himself and trying to tell a story, though. So, in my eyes, the story-wise and the adaptation-wise, this is the only thing we get from Monsters. I would say this is probably a 6, maybe even a 6.5 out of 10. But if I'm looking at it as a whole and one piece-wise, I give this probably a 7.5 to an 8 because of how it enhances the story for me. Um, but let me know your thoughts. I know I've been yapping and rambling on, and that's mainly because I'm in the car trying to drive headed to work. So I just wanted to get my thoughts on that, man. Let me know your thoughts on that. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.